Okay, thank you for this. You are not the only one. So I, I went too deep into the science and I kind of skipped the point. So right now in the US, BA 2.12.1 is outpacing BA 2, which is already more transmissible than Omicron and is the dominant variant in many areas and will soon be the dominant variant in the US. Now there's also BA.4 and BA.5. They were detected first in South Africa and are spreading throughout the world and cases have now been detected in the US of each of those variants. What is particularly concerning about BA.4 and 0.5, which is why I did a deep dive in those two videos, is that they carry a mutation that was seen in Delta, L452R. It's in the receptor binding domain and contributes to transmissibility and potentially pathogenicity of the virus. They also have another mutation in the receptor binding domain, and together both of those mutations are known to um, increase immune evasion, right? So, so the immune system doesn't recognize the spike protein as well. These variants are spreading very well in South Africa, despite them having a recent Omicron wave, and we would expect them to do the same here. And as I said in the second video, if you've been vaccinated, and they did a study with Pfizer vaccination and J&J &J vaccination, breakthrough Omicron cases, you are reasonably well protected. Um, there's not a lot of drop in antibody protection from BA.4 or BA.5. However, if you were unvaccinated and just had Omicron, it's not expected to be protective from BA.4 or BA.5. These variants are different enough and with potential increases in pathogenicity such that they could drive kind of an early summer wave. And if you ask me right now, I think we're already in a wave. We're just significantly undercounting cases, I would say by 5x at least. And um, this, is, this is a silent wave because we are not detecting and recording cases like we used to.